Hi, welcome to my channel. Today we are discussing another very important topic in the CMA and it will be very useful for the graduation students also. CMA, this topic is the confusion topic for most of the students. The topic 9 is process costing. In order to manufacture a particular product, a product should be passed through different stages. Each stage we can call as a process. Simply we can say, in order to produce a particular product, that should be passed in different stages, known as process 1, process 2, process 3. Process 1, you are putting material, you are putting labor, you are putting expenses. Then sometimes normal loss and abnormal loss will come whenever the process 1, it will be adjusted there. And the remaining will be you are transferring to the next process. Now you are reaching the second process. Same process will continue in the second process. If you need, you can add more materials. Again, labor cost. Again, overhead cost. Everything will come. Finally, you will reach the finished goods inventory. So the process costing, from this we will understand the process costing is mainly find out the exact inventory cost. This process costing normally applied in manufacturing organizations. Petroleum, thread manufacturing, computer monitor, monitor manufacturing. Normally where the manufacturing activities are going on, we can apply this process costing here. Process costing is a costing system adopted by the companies in order to find out the cost of an inventory in each stage. What will be the cost of the inventorial cost at each stage of manufacture? So process costing is essential in order to find out the inventorial cost. In order to produce a particular product, you have to pass different stages. Each stage is known as a process. In order to complete a finished product, three stages or four stages will be there. Each stage will be known as process 1, process 2, process 3 and finally you will reach the finished products. The output of the process 1 becomes input of the process second. So finally you will reach the finished goods inventory. Normally, this process costing is applied for homogeneous products, continuous product, cost accumulation will be there. What is the cost associated with the particular manufacturer is we can see there. So now we can see the what is the use of process costing. Firstly, process costing is used to assign cost to inventorial goods. What is the cost of the inventory? What are the cost there in good inventory you are checking there? It is applicable for which product? Homogeneous products only. Example petroleum, thread manufacturing and computer monitor field you can apply this process costing. Assigning exact amount of material cost. You want to assign the exact amount of material cost, exact amount of labor cost, exact amount of indirect cost to a thousand so millions of individual products you are applying all these costs to an individual product it is simply not effective one not a cost effective one therefore process costing involves averaging the cost of production average what will be the average cost of the product so we can say process costing involves averaging the cost of the production and allocating the cost in working process and finished goods how you are allocating the cost into work in process and work in finished products. So you want to know exactly how much will be cost of the inventory in each stage. Each stage means each process you want to know what is the cost of the inventory. The cost associated with the work in progress and finally you will reach in finished goods. 
So this process you are understanding through the process costing. From the process costing, you can clearly understand how the material, how the labor, how other expenses are moving from one process to another process. Finally, it will reach in the finished goods. When the goods are sold, it will be shown as cost of goods sold. So the process flow, how it will be moved from one process to another process, we can know that one that is known as accounting treatment or the journal. It will affect the process costing. You, by looking these entries, you will get a clear picture about the process costing movement in an organization. Look, firstly, you are purchasing raw material from the suppliers. First point is you are obtaining raw materials from these suppliers. The entry will be raw material account adapted to accounts payable. Raw material came to the business. You are purchased material on credit. That is why accounts payable is coming. Second one, material are used in the first department. Department may be A, second department may be B. Therefore, work in process, that is department A, material where production started, then raw material gone out. Raw material change into work in progress. Then, after that, you will add some conversion cost. Conversion cost means what? Direct labor and manufacturing overhead is known as conversion cost. So conversion cost, material you already started, production is going on, then converting materials into finished product, you need what? Conversion cost. Conversion cost includes direct material plus manufacturing overhead. Example, so now the goods will be in the work in progress. You are adding what conversion cost, what are wages payable, Manufacturing suppliers, property tax payable, prepaid insurance, accumulated depreciation means factory equipment depreciation. These are the manufacturing cost. So here you are adding direct labor plus manufacturing overhead. Firstly, you add material. Secondly, you add conversion cost. So now the work in progress is in the A department A. Then move from one department to another. That means you are moving from department A to department B because material you purchased. Secondly, material is work in progress. Then thirdly, conversion cost added. Now the first production process completed. You are transferring to the next process that is known as WIP of B. Now you reach in the next process. WIP of A. This move from there and you reach there. Then second department, if you need, you can add same process. If you need more material, if you need more conversion cost, you can add there. If material is adding work in process account, that is B, huh? work in process account B. This is in the process B. Raw material you can add. This will be what? This is known as conversion cost wages payable. Matter of fact, all conversion cost. This we can call as conversion. Conversion cost. So material added in the second process. Conversion cost will be added in the next process. Then finally you reach in the finished goods. Then whenever the goods are sold. It will be finished goods will be moved to cost of goods sold. Cost of goods sold account adapted to finished goods. Finished goods credit is given. It will nullify there. So the accounting process of the process costing will be. Material purchased. Material work in progress. Then conversion cost added, move it to the next process. Then second process, you are adding material and the conversion cost. Then you reach the finished goods. Then finally, finished goods change into cost of goods sold when the products are sold. These are the process flow of process costing. Moving from one material or one department to another department. So, in order to study the process costing, you have to understand what is the meaning of the process costing, what are the process involved in the process costing, what is the accounting treatment involved in the process costing. Thank you.